This video is about making life simple again. In this video, I'm gonna give you simple and practical tips to hopefully make your life simple again. To find out more, please stay tuned to this video. Welcome to the SCG Show. Please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and turn your life around with my sponsor, BetterHelp. The link is down below. Let me ask you some questions. Are you living unnecessarily in a stressful and chaotic fashion? Are you constantly moaning and falling to your knees at the slightest inconvenience? Do you find yourself in a spiral of negativity and frustration? Well, chances are you're living wrong and you've heard that correctly. I know what you might say, but SCG, who on earth are you to tell me how to live? Well, steady there, I'm not. But I know what you might be going through and experiencing as I was just like you. I've been in situations, toxic ones as well, cursing my luck and blaming the world and everyone else. I'd say, why does this always happen to me? Why can't I just catch a break? Why is nothing working out? Life is so complicated. Life is suffering, difficult and indeed complicated. There's no doubt about that. So this is no fluff video about how it isn't. But it can get simpler and manageable and easier by addressing certain things. Neglecting areas such as the people and situations that you have in your life do compound. And you'll 100% be worse off if you don't address them as soon as possible. This will require enormous personal strength. And to do some very difficult and emotional thinking and changes in the short term to benefit in the long term. If you do what is easy, bury your head in the sand, ignore the things that are triggering and bothering you, your life will never be simple again. But if you do what is hard, stand up for yourself, don't be so naive, approach the problem head on with an abundance mindset, your life will become simple again. Now, I'm not guaranteeing you that you'll never have any problems or situations that are stressful. That's a stupid thing for me to say. Instead, I'm suggesting that you can come for more of a sense of peace and prosperity rather than the current place of negativity, stress, frustration and anxiety. I know a woman who was advised to not talk to toxic people, to change her habits and lifestyle to make her life simple again. Arrogantly, she refused and whenever you speak to her, it's the same issues, the same problems, situations, scenarios. Why is my life not simple, she cries because she chooses to make it frustrating. Some people want to be victims, are desperate for attention, which I personally cannot comprehend at all. So if you don't have that victim mentality and you desperately want to make life simple again, let's continue. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and support the SCG show by becoming a channel member. The link is in the description below. The first step to making your life simple again is to remove the vices and toxic habits you've adopted over time. I know this extremely well. I was a gambling addict for many years and hardly anyone knew what I was up to. I kept it all a secret, suffered in silence. And please, you should never do that, which is why I recommend reaching out to somebody who my sponsor better help. The link is down below. I was addicted to gambling on and off for around 14 years from the age of 18 all the way to 32. Then in April 2019, I officially quit gambling with no desire to ever set foot in a casino again or place a bet at all. Seriously, I wake up every single day without even the thought of gambling and I can walk past the casino with no temptation, no need, no impulse, nothing at all. How I beat my addiction was all to do with educating myself about how and why I gambled in the first place, but for the sake of argument, let us focus on the main topic here. Quitting gambling made my life so much simpler again, in more ways than ever. First, I saved money. One of the main stresses and causes of problems in a person's life is all to do with finances, and with no more money being blown on gambling anymore, the amount I saved was astronomical. Plus, I don't have that sinking feeling anymore coming home having blown everything on blackjack. Then no more anxiety. Gambling was at the forefront of my mind, no matter where I was or what I was doing, I'd always think about it. In my mind, I would anxiously want my fix and I'd stop at nothing to get it, 
even if it meant I would lie to the people I loved. But that anxiety is no longer there, which is truly liberating. Here are some other benefits. I sleep better now being sober. I eat and feel better being sober. I have more free time to focus on my goals now I'm sober. My personal relationships are not as strained anymore. I'm a happier, more abundant person. And there is no more shame, no guilt, no self-loathing attached to gambling because I'm sober. I cannot begin to tell you how incredible life has been in the now three years of sobriety since I decided to officially quit. And as a result, life has become simple again. So don't wait till tomorrow, next week. From today, from now, cut out those toxic habits. Firstly, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about my official sponsor, BetterHelp. Your mental health is important to me. And I've personally used BetterHelp and found it very effective for turning my life around for the better and maintaining control over my mental health. BetterHelp is an online portal that provides direct to consumer access to behavioral health services. The online counseling and therapy services are provided through web-based interactions, as well as phone, video, and text communication. BetterHelp gives you four live sessions a month and unlimited messages in between sessions, as well as access to the group therapy webinars that are updated each and every week. You can sign up for BetterHelp by clicking on the link below and you'll be supporting the SCG Show community and on top of that, you'll get 10% off when you sign up. So turn your life around with my channel sponsor, BetterHelp. The link is in the description below. This part of the video will undoubtedly be the most emotionally difficult and challenging part to making your life simpler and that is to remove toxic people from your life as soon as possible or keep them at arm's length and to a minimum. What's the definition of a toxic person? It's a person with toxic qualities as anyone who is abusive, unsupportive or unhealthily emotional. Someone who basically brings you down more than up. You may begin to feel dependent on them for their opinion and end up doubting your own reality. As I look back on my 20s, I'm 34 at the moment, I do so shocked at the people I used to associate with. Gambling addicts, drug addicts, negative naysayers, sociopaths, narcissists, entitled selfish people, manipulators, bullies, people who hurt and embarrassed and ridiculed me and took advantage. I was so empathetic and naive that I put up with such disgusting behavior just so I could socialize, hang out with people, have friends. I made a solemn vow a few years ago to never chase people again and to walk away if I need to. One by one, I drifted and these people were just removed from my life altogether. Let's talk about friends. I lost three best friends over the course of a decade. They crossed the line, were disrespectful and hurt me. I wish them all the best, but I prefer to now make friends with genuine people that want the best for me instead. I have dated quite a few toxic women in my life and none was worse than having a four-year relationship with a narcissist. It was draining and almost destroyed my life. Instead, now I focus on the good and genuine in a potential partner and look out for those glaring red flags that never make the same mistake. Finally, I've learned the hard way that family is just a title, especially after I lost my dad. Family can be the hardest to remove or to keep at a safe distance, especially when you've become so enmeshed with one another. But if you generally want to go and improve, you may have to tell your parents, your cousins, your aunts and uncles that you'll no longer be tolerating their BS anymore. It can certainly be lonely at times, but life has become simpler removing toxic people for myself. Not to mention far more peaceful as well. Another way to make life far simpler is to focus on one overall goal you wish to achieve. I can't begin to tell you how much better my life has become doing such a thing. In 2019, I came up with the idea of a personal brand, The SCG Show, a channel and blog which is where I share my advice and theories on subjects with the world. The plan was simple. See where it goes in two years and go from there. The key word there, simple. Usually, good ideas are simple. 
I devised the strategy to create content and do so consistently and try and get an audience organically through Google and YouTube. So if you're watching this video right now, guess what? It kind of worked. My overall goal is to grow my channel and my blog to over a million visitors a month and subscribers. The strategy remains the same. Make as much good quality content as possible every single day until I reach my goal. Having one focus, aka the SCG show, allowed me to base my life around it. I've worked for myself on the project full time, whilst I manage other investments and other businesses more passively. I work typically 9 to 5 Monday to Friday with the odd bank holidays off. I have my own office and therefore clock in and clock out on my own schedule, but I'm disciplined. I do all the work myself, the writing, the editing, the researching, the coaching, the coding, all of it. I manage clients for consultancy and coaching, my sponsorship relationships, and so much more. All of that is around one focus, to grow the SCG show. Let me ask you a question. How many things are you juggling at once? My late father got completely burnt out and exhausted with stress because a few months before he died, he juggled too many things at once family affairs, his businesses, other people's problems, to the point that he was on the verge of a mental breakdown. He did not make his life simple. He did make his life stressful and far more difficult. He didn't believe in outsourcing. He was a complete control freak, thinking he could manage everything at once, and he had this God complex where he wanted to help everyone. He was a lovely guy, but he paid for it in the end. I'm telling you this firsthand. He couldn't handle so much, and he regretted doing so. He told me so. Focus on one thing. Go all in on it. Enjoy the process. Never half-ass several things. Whole-ass one thing. To support my work, feel free to make a donation via PayPal. I'd really appreciate it. The link is in the description below. Let's talk about patience. You're talking to the formerly most impatient man in the world, as I wanted everything now. Wealth, success, love, relationships, marriage, happiness, abundance, right now. But once you detach yourself from the outcome and ignore the fantasy of get rich quick and Instagram fake life, you start to be patient. In the 730 days, aka the first two years of the SCG show, there were plenty of months, days and weeks with no growth, no traffic, no revenue, no views, no clients, nothing. It hurt, especially when I'd get a spike in views, only then for it to fall off a cliff and dip again. Very simply put, patience makes your life so much simpler, because you know over time things will compound whether you like it or not. The best time to plant a tree was 10 years ago, and somebody is sitting in the shade of that tree today when it gets hot and sunny. Now you might be saying, but I've waited ages. I still have not got my big break in my idea, my business. I'm only two years in and grown so much, but still nowhere near where I'd want to be, and neither are you, so keep going. Or well, I keep going on bad dates. I've been single forever. I can't seem to meet anyone. Count yourself lucky for not ending up with the wrong person and holding out for somebody better suited for you that's going to last overall. Well, I feel like giving up. Yes, giving up short term is easy and life will be simpler then. But over the next few years, you will resent and regret yourself for not persisting in an idea, a relationship, an opportunity, etc. Patience is a virtue. I look at how much I've grown into a more patient man overall. And yes, I do sometimes get frustrated at circumstances, but who doesn't? We're human. But then I look to the future and the life I'm trying to create. Hopefully, the simpler one. Slow and steady always rewards the persistent person who works towards a worthy ideal. The opposite, aka fast money, get rich quick, the cheap shortcuts, lead to a more stressful, complicated, anxious, difficult life overall. And ask yourself a question, do you really want that? Because if you do, you wouldn't watch this video. Be patient. Here's a quick word from my sponsor, Let's Get Checked. Let's Get Checked makes professional health testing easy by letting you get tested without having to visit a healthcare provider. Choose your test online and it's delivered to you in a discreet packaging with next day delivery. 
Once your sample arrives in the lab, confidential results will be available from your secure online account within days. Once your results are available, they'll be reviewed by a physician. A nurse will then contact you for a consultation over the phone. So Let's Get Checked lets you avoid uncomfortable office visits by providing you with access to home testing and professional medical consultations without ever having to leave your home. It's never been this simple to get tested and you'll receive 30% off your kits by using the SCG Show links below. So if you want to get tested at home to check your health, simply visit Let's Get Checked. The link is in the description below. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to comment, like and subscribe to my channel and here's some other videos that you may find of interest.